This is one of Europe's largest construction sites. We're building the Fiemann Belt Tunnel between Denmark and Germany, near the town of Rodbyhan on the island of Lolland. The new link will be the world's longest immersed tunnel and the fastest route between Scandinavia and Central Europe. Following extensive preparations, the project is now underway. The first step in the construction phase is the large-scale work harbour to take delivery of the huge quantities of sand, cement, steel and gravel that are required to cast the tunnel elements. Behind the harbour, we're building a tunnel factory with six production halls for casting the tunnel's 89 concrete elements on a 24-7 basis. The standard elements are 217 metres long, weigh over 73,000 tonnes, and contain two tubes for the motorway, two for the railway, and a service passage. The tunnel elements will be immersed in a 12-metre deep tunnel trench dredged on the seabed. Dredging the 18-kilometre tunnel trench will produce 19 million cubic metres of soil, sand and stone, which will be transformed into new beaches and land areas adjacent to the construction site. The tunnel factory will be the world's largest for concrete production. The construction site will provide jobs for several thousand people. What's more, the project will create even more jobs at companies in the region, supplying the site with raw materials, goods and services. The finished tunnel will be assembled from 89 elements, cast incrementally in segments over a skeleton of reinforcing steel in large casting moulds. Once the concrete is set, the moulds will be removed and the tunnel element will be pushed forwards towards the dry dock. This work will take place round the clock with nine weeks needed to produce one tunnel element. When the element is ready to be transported, it is sealed at both ends with a bulkhead and the dry dock is filled with water. The element is towed out into the deep end of the dock, after which the water level is lowered to sea level. Tugboats will tow the element into position in the Fiemann belt. The ballast tanks are filled with water and the element is lowered onto the seabed. The elements will be installed with millimetre precision along the length of the tunnel. Once manoeuvred into place, the elements are pulled together and the water is pumped out. This creates a partial vacuum, which ensures a watertight connection. Finally, a protective layer of stone will be laid on top of the tunnel. Over time, the current will completely cover the tunnel with sand. Portal buildings are being constructed at Rodbihan on Lolland and Puttgarden in Germany which will ensure that traffic has a smooth transition between land and tunnel on both sides of the belt. Once the technical installations are completed, the tunnel will open to traffic. People will then be able to cross the Fiemann belt in seven minutes by train and 10 minutes by car. The world's largest immersed tunnel will be ready in 2029.